How's it going everyone? Protopawn here. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we've got quite a bit going on for us uh, in this episode. A um, couple things that I've been working on. Obviously, I've been working on the wall. And a couple other things um, that I started working on as I was waiting for um, cobblestone to uh, cook into normal stone so I can make uh, brick stone. Um, but first and foremost, let me show you guys the wall so far. <coughs> It's taken quite a lot of time mining out the material for this and then waiting for it to cook and then placing it all together. But so far, we've got the wall stretching from our tower all the way this direction. And over here, I started setting up kind of like a uh, basis area for the next tower where it's going to connect. Um, but so far, things are going pretty good. Um, this wall, obviously... Um, Maybe not, obviously, but this wall is going to change in design um, as we put in details and um, some other things that I want to do at the top. Um, but right now, it's just kind of put in the baseline, um, get things going, and then come back to detailing it later. But I've got some pretty cool um, ideas um, in mind for this. Um, I'm not entirely sure where I want to put, like, the main gate if I want to put the main gate on this wall or if we want to do it in a different segment of uh, the wall down the road um, maybe like on the side over there as it stretches that way or that way or maybe we want to put the main gate up on the mainland which actually might honestly make the most sense um, overall but we'll cross that road when we get there I'm probably thinking that's probably what we'll do. Um, but here, let me let me park over here real quick and show you guys what's kind of going on here. Like I said, starting the base area for um, the next tower. And we have the corridor that I am going to uh, eventually get lit up here so it's not pitch black and mobs don't spawn in here. Um, again couple different ideas running through my mind um, as far as the wall actual like design goes into it later on um, we have a lot of split space that we can do some stuff with here I'm thinking about possibly putting in another like upper walkway and then have uh, like somewhere on the way up this direction well I guess it would be like kind of like right here we could enter into the road and then have like a, an upper road area for some reasons and whatever that we can get to uh, later on. Looks like there's, yeah, there's a creeper over there, so we're not going to go back that way, nor do we need to. Um, let me show you guys uh, on the other side here. So it's like obviously completely, completely put in. And I started doing kind of just the general idea of our walkway as we start arching. Um, because this part of the wall isn't going to be a straight line. It's going to arch over. Um, so I started doing some pathing. Um, this idea, again, I've kind of done this before. And this seems to work fairly well. You first get like a slight start going straight. And then you start arcing doing like a two by two pattern as you go. Um, it's nothing like super fancy, but it should work in the long run. Um, I'm just thinking as we arc that way, we'll probably have, we might have either A, another full tower right here, like somewhere over here where the thing ends. I kind of kind of figure out where we're going to end it. We're probably going to end it like right here. We might have another full tower over here somewhere. Or like a balcony platformed off area where it's just more walkway as you stretch that direction to another tower. But I'm thinking we just add in another tower over here. Uh, maybe. We'll see. We'll, we'll cross Again, we'll cross that road when we get there. Um, but so far, that's what we've got. I've had a couple um, raiders come through here as I was building up, and uh, of course we were able to snag some flags. So right under the windows, I set up their banners, <laughs> kind of like showing like, hey, 
we kill you guys here if you come, so beware. Um, but anyway, I do have some very unfortunate news um, through all this. Um, during one of the nights that uh, I was just kind of AFKing so I could let my stone um, cook while I went and did some other things, um, just kind of AFKed. Um, as you guys probably recall, we had some villagers in here. Every single villager that was in here were all the villagers that we had in the town. And unfortunately, a zombie dropped in from the, the roof there, got in, and transformed all our villagers into zombies. And then they all died during the daytime as the, the sun came up, and there was absolutely nothing I could do about it. So, currently, we are a one-man <laughs> resident of our... Uh, creating kingdom village here like we are the only one here which is unfortunate but at the same time we can play to our advantage because in all honesty worrying about villagers moving around um as we're transforming the houses into better houses kind of can get quite uh exasperating so <laughs> It's kind of a good thing that we don't have to worry about them anymore as we transform this village into a better village. Um, as you can see right here, I'm working on a project. Well, half a project. I didn't want to completely cut you guys out of the creation of this, but what I wanted to do was make half of my idea. Usually, so this is this is like our, our farmer, right? You've guys seen it in my base in the... Um, the other series, you know, on the server, I have like a, a two-leveled um, farming device. This is a full three-level, and I mean, obviously, honestly, you can take this as far as you really want, as long as you do the proper method for it, and you just, it'll just keep going on forever as long as you have the right elevation. Um, but I'm doing a three-level, because that's usually what all you really need. However, as you can see... I have the water coming in from this side here, and there's a hopper here. Usually what you would do is like in the middle of an individual one of these, you would have the hopper come and you would have two waterways pushing it towards the middle and then dropping it in the hopper. The hopper connects to, uh, you know, the chest that you can put stuff in, put our supply down there that we're going to be using here. Um, but what I want to do is replicate everything that I have going on here and do a whole nother side here. And then obviously the water will push this way into the, our hopper. So we have a double farm system going on here. We're gonna be collecting up so much resource from just doing this. So, whoops, I'm sorry about that. Didn't mean to turn that fast. Um, but what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna walk you guys right through the process of making one of these on this side with a slight twist of you know just adding a double side um and i'll explain the step-by-step -step process that you want to do in order to make one of these um as you can see we have our redstone it's constantly activated in order to keep these uh these trap doors closed um and then what you do is you press this button here. It'll turn off the redstone. Those trapdoors were open. The water will drop through, uh, flowing this way, knocking everything out, and pushing it into our stream down there that drops everything into the hopper. Um, boy, oh boy, every time, I swear, I have to do a cut here because um, the night. I'm not actually going to cut because I'm just going to keep talking real quick since nothing else is really going on and this only takes two seconds um but yeah so that's kind of my idea of what we're going to do for the day because i i need a break from building uh with the stone brick and i need to do a whole nother farming session now to get more brick to start doing the second tower here so we're gonna not do that right now um what i did is i made this our midpoint right here um I don't know if that's actually, hmm, might not actually work. I'm trying to think here. 
technically this is the midpoint. We're gonna move this. Um, we actually might actually take that down there. What I'm thinking about doing too, guys, is taking this little house here. I might clear out some area, but I wanna build a better farmhouse and make this either the farmhouse here, or maybe since we're you know, driving down this way, maybe we set up like the composter down here like this, and this can be like the farmer's work area. The problem is, is I really don't want the farmers to come through here because I don't want them to possibly trample the crops when they're growing. I don't think they can technically do that, but um, the way that my walk system is to get in here, because the the dirt block um, when you um, you know till it with the uh, hoe or um, smooth it out with the shovel to when you're making like road blocks um, gets it just slightly trimmed enough to where like as you can see as we walk up to something that should be a smooth transition it's like a pop-up effect where it makes you it forces you to jump so Coming from this side, it's no problem. However, if they were to like do something like that, I don't know, it, it could be problematic. So anyway, enough of that. Enough said with that. Um, I'm, I'm thinking we just make the farmhouse up there um, and that we can do some other stuff down here. Um, but let's, uh, let's get working here. So what we want to do is count out uh, seven wide, right? So this is this is the drop down spot. This is lined up with this. This is where the water is going to drop. So this is as far as we need the dirt to come. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, let me just fill this in like this. Um, we are going to need a shovel to make this a little bit more efficient, but, but we're going to just not, we're just going to not worry about that right now because we're going to extend this out like so, just so we have enough work room. Um, technically, okay, if that's seven, we have that on the top. We need this like this. Um, so if you were to remove any one of these blocks right here, you're going to see a water path, right? That's what we're going to use in order to um, till and have, you know, our tilled areas be um, irrigated. So what we want to do is come up to, I want to say, is there, I think this is, this is our spawn spot. This is where we spawn the water. So yes, we're going to come up to this point here, line it up, we're going to dig this out, like that, and then this is above this obviously is going to be where um, our like wood is going to come. From here, let's just, let's just take all the grass out so we have um, a clear path here there we go so now let me move this glowstone out of the way what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab our wood and we probably are gonna need more um, I didn't like count this out or anything ahead of time because it's not something I was completely concerned with we'll worry about all this later just wanting to deal with this right now. So technically, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. I'm going to dig this out. Um, yeah, that's that. We're going to count three high, like so. And then we're going to do this, like that. That should be the correct amount of space. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that should that should be right. Okay. 
from here. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, 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 I did that. Okay, from there we're going to do this. Because this is where we're going to put... Whoops. This is where we're going to put the trap doors in order to block the water. And in order to do that, I kind of already, I kind of jumped the gun here. Let me, let me move this because we need this out of our way in order to do this properly. I'm going to do this. And I'm just trying to think of how these doors open. I'm pretty sure they open upward like that. So actually, what we want we don't even need we don't even need this right here. What we want is this like this, I believe. Um bum, 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 bum. Oh, wait, no. If that's that's activated, that's up. No, I'm wrong. I'm sorry, I'm wrong again. <laughs> I'll get this right. It was just, it's been a couple days since I set up this other thing, uh, the other half of this. So I'm trying to remember how I got this to work. Because it is a little finicky. Um, but we'll, we'll get it right. I'm trying to think. I have one trap door over here that I can play around with here. I'll make more. Because we have to. I believe... Does this work like this. No, 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 not that side. We want... No, you know what, I think I was right. Was I? I don't... Hold on. Okay. No, I think, no, I think I know. I, it, I think it is like this. I was right. I was right the first time. Let me dig this out again. Again, this is a technical process, um, but these things work so well. What we do is we do this, right? Then we take our... Uh... Nope, not there. Take our trapdoor. There we go. That's correct. Um, and then we just do that across that way. But in the meantime, what we're going to do is get our... We're going to get our uh, lines going here with, with the wood. So we come like this. And then right here. Right, right here is where it drops, right? So right here is where we want the next line to drop. I'm going to dig this out. So this is going to be one, two, three, five, six, seven. That should be correct. Um, because the line is going to drop, it should drop right there. Let me just dig this out just to be sure. Yeah, because that's a block and then it drops. Okay, yep, I was right. So right here is where that's going to go there. And then we're going to dig this out. I, I should have grabbed the shovel, but that's alright. It's not a big deal. We'll save the iron. Um, and this is going to come all the way to technically this point, but it's good to just dig everything straight out, get things out the way. Next, what we want to do is we're going to clear out this, and once again, it is getting dark. Wow, these days are just flying by. But let's dig this out real quick. You know what, I am just going to go get a shovel, because real quick is not going to be quick enough for the night time to come. And we probably, let's, let me eat some steak here, get some uh, stamina back. There we go. Come in here. Let's just 
sleep away. And let's get us some iron. We need just one heart. So we're not going to need to make more than one right now. We don't need the pickaxe. We need the shovel. The shovel there. All right. But yeah, these contraptions are going to save us so much time in the farm game. All right, let's see what we got. Let's take this. And right here is the drop point. So this cuts like this. So there's our three levels. And what we're going to do is we are going to dig this side out. Up to this point. Um, yeah. All right, let's get our next line in. Where is the button? There we go. Um, we're going to do that. There we go. And we grab the wood. And we cover this up like so. that. Cover that like that. I did this a little bit too far. That's good. All right. Um, do that. There we go. And this should be our last line coming this way. Just like that. And that lines up with that. So, what we need is some water, which won't be too hard to find. There are so many, there are so many different little like farm areas that were set up like over here. There was like wheat growing all the way over here. This, this village was pretty good in that department. There are just farms of wheat and melons just everywhere and like combined, like they're all combined, like over there. All over there, all over here, all over past those, you know, buildings over there. Just everywhere. Alright, so now that we've done that, what we're going to want to do is we're going to dig this out here. We're going to place our water. We're going to place our dirt back. And if everything calculated out correctly, and it should have, we should have water ending right under this block. And we do. So... From here, what we're going to do is, how did I do this over here? Yeah, those those two things connected. So we're going to need another bucket of water. I'll just come grab this one. We are going to place it there. And we are indeed going to bring, how did I end that? Okay, yeah, we did. The, I did this, and then we're going to do that, and then we're going to dig this out like so, and all the way over to our hopper. We should have dirt in here. Time, yep, there we go. Which means everything is working. Everything is doing excellent here. And now the next step would be to till all our land, except let's finish off our structure here, like so. And then all that's left to do is the mechanisms up there, and I've been surrounding on the top here with uh, planks just so, again, um, the villagers can't actually just jump in here 
it, you know, you have to come over here to enter this area. And all that we're going to be doing basically ourselves is, you know, coming over here. I'm going to probably play around with the floor here just so we have a little bit easier access to open the um, chest that's underneath here. But um, for the most part, we are basically done building it apart from just enclosing it and getting the mechanism in. So let's, uh, let's worry about that right now. What we're going to do from here is we need more of our trap doors, which we're going to have to go cut down at least a tree here. Let's we'll just come over here and do this one. I've been obviously, if you haven't noticed, um, too, is I've been harvesting a lot of these trees out of here. Primarily, obviously, just because when we go to build the rest of the village, I don't want trees getting in our way. Um, we can always reintegrate them back in if you know we deem necessary. But for the most part, I want this whole thing to become a bustling city scape, and trees aren't really going to be. You know, maybe like a, a, a central tree here or there, sure, but um, I want like connected buildings and all this other cool stuff that we're going to do. So I've been getting rid of the trees. It's been helping us get the wood that we need. Um, obviously, we are going to be terraforming the land even more as we need to. So it's it, it's been hasn't been too much of an issue. Let me just grab this back. It's fine. And now we have all of this. That should be relatively plenty. Um, first, what we're gonna do is that is that is not what I wanted. First, we're gonna do this, cutting off the back here. Um, coming up to that, no, that's, that's another one of those, so, yeah, this is correct. Um, that'll contain our water that we're going to need. Um, let's do this. So this is where things get a little, uh, finicky as far as, um, technicalities go. We, we need this to, to work correctly. And I need to go use our lovely crafting table in order to do what we need to do, which is make planks. Or not planks, I'm sorry. Um, we need to make uh, trap doors, which all, <laughs> all six of this wood equals two trap doors. Um, Luckily, we only need to do this three times for the exact amount that we need because there's only seven slots and we already have one trap door. So, thankfully, I kind of pre-calculated this ahead of time and um, when I made the eight that I needed for over here because I only needed seven, I had one left over to do this side. So, um, I'm glad that this is working out so well. Now we can reclaim all of this like so. And we can take that, put this on top like this. There we go. That's looking good. This is going to be so sick when we activate this. Just to watch. Um, I want to say it was that, and then two, and then right there, and then it should be like, what, three in the middle over here? That's fine. Um, we do need more wood. However, right now it's more important to keep going with our main mechanism here. And this should tee off, it does end right there, but then there's slab there, and on top of that is another plank. Um, so right here should be a plank. That's where that tees off. 
Um, and we still have four left over. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to sleep. We're going to grab our hoe. Uh, we have our bucket for more water. And we need redstone dust. Let me collect everything up real quick and uh, get this all straightened out. And then we'll get uh, right back into it. So give me one moment, guys. All right, here we are. Got everything we need. And I kind of did a little bit of a preemptive um, filling of water um, with one example of how this works um, just to save us up on a little time about of me going back and through, forth through the village um, grabbing an individual bucket of water before bringing it back so the way this works is that as you can see we have this this block here technically um, fills in this space this block space here but now that um, ever since they updated water to be able to occupy the same space as a half block or what is considered to be a half block which is what trap doors are considered um, it doesn't like flow over so you have to individually grab a, a bucket of water and fill in each spot where these um, trap doors reside so all you have to do is place it close the trap door and you're all set now everything is technically ready to work like I already have the um, redstone line in here everything's active as you can see if we were to hit that button over there right now all the water would just rush that direction but we're not ready for that first we're gonna close this top part off like so and I don't think I went all the way over yeah no it's kind of it almost looks like a roof in a, in a way um, and now from this point, we are technically done. I did put in the finishing touch over here like this to match the other side. Um, so now what we do is we can do our um, edging like this. And we definitely have more than enough to finish that off like that. Um, we're going to put that in like this. There we go. Um, actually, I'm not sure. No, that's going to block. That's going to block our waterway. So we can't actually have those there. So no big deal. What we'll do is we'll do this like that. That won't be an issue. This is kind of like a, a walkway as of now. Um, although that still gives me kind of a worry about trampling crops, but it really shouldn't be. T it really shouldn't be a problem. Um, but that's all that, and now all that's left to do is till up the land and plant some crops. And I just brought more wheat seeds over because. That's what we have the most abundant thing of. But eventually we can do crop rotation for this. Or, you know, it is a city, so um, eventually we might have another, you know, farmer somewhere along the, uh, along the line somewhere else throughout the city. And this one over here can designate himself as wheat. And, there, and there's a way of doing that. You just basically keep dropping down your hopper and recreating the farmer until you get what you want with one guy trading wheat and one guy trading like either potatoes or carrots or whatever and we can literally have designated farmers that we go to for uh individual crop and that way it's not so uh you know tedious to you know keep rotating crops out in one location but honestly the most efficient way to really do anything is you know if this was just like us and not creating a giant city um, it would it would be more um, beneficial to just work on one area that's doing a farm like this um, this whole thing here in all honesty we might not have enough chest space <laughs> ironically um, to fit all of the crops that this thing is going to be able to produce. Um, I could be wrong about that. I don't think I am. Um, 
but we'll we'll find out, I guess. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is I'm going to finish tilling this up. I'm gonna plant some crops. I'm gonna let them grow, and then um, after they're done growing, I'll bring you guys back, and uh, we can hit the button, and we can watch all of the water push all this way. We won't actually, technically, we won't be able to watch the whole thing. I'll probably stand up here in order for us to actually watch this happen. Um, normally, you would put the button at this end. You would normally put the button at this end and just wait here, but that's not the way that I'm running this, uh, this one because it's not that detrimental to watch this happen every single time. Um, I'd rather hit the button up here um, because it's just easy, easier redstone wise um, the way that we did it um, instead of having to run a line all the way from the bottom. Um, so I'm going to get these plants uh, planted and, and grown and uh, we'll uh, kind of just end the video on uh, watching the, the whole contraption work and see how much it produces. So I will be right back, guys. See you in a moment. Well, we're just about wrapped up for this video, guys, but uh, while I was waiting, and actually while we're waiting here for <laughs> the uh, <clears throat> farm to finish up, and it, it looks like it's basically ready to go, uh, let, let's take a, a moment to just appreciate what we have here, this, this little village that is about to evolve into something way better, but look at how big that one little contraption of ours just is so much bigger than any of these buildings we are going to rectify that but check this out <clears throat> while we were waiting i noticed that we had a couple of unwanted guests appear uh by our wall um <clears throat> this is the benefit of actually having a wall is that it's basically like shooting fish in a barrel i only have two shots here um but at least we're going to weaken our enemy first before going to just outright slaughter them. Let's go, let's go have some fun. <laughs> and then we'll wrap this up. Oh. Ha! Yourself. Wow. Oh darn, look at this. Ha! Ow! Why are there only two of you? That's what I want. Yeah, that's right. Looks like there's a zombie over here burning away. That's nice. I'm really kind of wondering why the heck there are only two villagers, but whatever. Alright, anyway, let's go, uh... <clears throat> Let's go check on our contraption here. So basically, I did add this little addition here. Oh, I do want to point that out. Um, a little gate to keep the villagers out from the actual crop area. And uh, we built down. Now we have this opening that we can easily access our chest full of goodies once it's full and the area for the farmer himself to actually at least um, have a workspace. Um, I, I do think instead of building up there, we are going to build the farmer's house somewhere down here, but I think what I'm going to do is um, level this out by raising up um, the foundation here, and then that way it's like just even with this for the most part. Or maybe we'll build like a, a structure up where, you know, you have the top part of the building that comes out and then like it's on a slight hill and then, I don't know, we'll we'll get crafty with, with the building. Um, I kind of want to keep this, I like this structure, how it's generated. So maybe what we'll do is we'll add on to it. We'll keep this as part of... The, the build to the house, kind of like 
an homage to the original village that was here. But we'll we'll get crafty with the village um, or the the farmer house here um, in another episode. But let's go and let's harvest this up. I did the math. <clears throat> this farm right here, once it's all said and done, because you have three areas on each side <clears throat> that have a seven by seven area that adds up to 49 um, blocks per area. So you have, you know, six of these <clears throat> areas. All the math said and done, it came out to like, once you condense all the wheat into bread, this farm here literally makes like 98 pieces of bread. That's a lot of bread, considering a, st a full stack of bread can only go up to 64 before it starts spilling over into like another pile, so, or another stack. So, without further ado, <clears throat> let's get this out show on the road here. And let's hit this button, and we'll watch everything get drained away. Just like that. And then that's all going to get collected up. As we can see, I highly doubt there's anything left straggling about. Let's hit that button again. It does look like some things did get a little swept up on this railing here and a little bit past but that's fine <clears throat> it's so uh look at this this is our chest filling up right now the hopper has to sort through everything here um look at all these wheat seeds that we just got the, the wheat we got so much wheat i i just want to Let's just throw everything, because this, I didn't have any of this in my inventory. Let's let this naturally collect up so we can see the grand total. I mean, I could have just as easily put it in the chest, but that's okay. But yeah, this hopper is going to sort all this out into here. <clears throat> it's a lot. That's a lot of food. You know what? Just just so it doesn't despawn or anything. Let's make sure that we collect it. We can just throw it in the chest ourselves. Look at that. It's draining out. Let's just throw all the wheat seeds in here first. That's what it's siphoning first. There we go. I'm just gonna save us some some time here. That's that's how much this whole thing produces in one go. And it's night. Yeah, I love that. Let's let's take a quick rest here. This is why these these kind of automated farms are just amazing, especially this one. The amount that this produces, like I mean, automated farms. There's a lot of ways of different ways of doing it. Um, ones that auto collect everything for you. Um, there are ways that there's like uh, somehow I'm pretty sure there's ways that you can automate the gr growing process without actually having to intervene with it at all. Um, but I, I like I like this kind because it gives one it gives the village an aesthetic um, soon to be city the aesthetic of you know there is work that is being done in the, in, in the town it's just the the automated stuff and the other stuff I mean it's cool you know mechanically but aesthetically it's not all that pleasing the majority of the time this is just just really appealing to look at. But let's see. Let's count this up real quick. We have 
almost five full stacks of wheat in this and we have you know a full line of seeds at the top and you know three and then almost you know a, a start to a whole nother pile i mean this is a lot of seeds this is a lot of wheat um <clears throat> we have way more seeds than we actually need but that's fine because what we'll end up doing is we'll take this the unneeded seeds We'll feed them into the hopper here so that we can get bone meal out and then we can use the bone meal to grow our plants faster. Um, it's kind of not, honestly, it's the amount of organics that you would have to put in that to actually grow all this outright. It's actually just, it's not time efficient at all. Um, it's not really worth it. But... <clears throat> It is, it is really cool to see that, like, that's technically what you would do with all the access stuff that you don't need. But, um, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Thanks for tuning in. Um, next time, I don't know, maybe we'll have the tower in by next time, the next tower in by next time. Um, probably not. Um, maybe we'll, what I kind of want to do is... Next, next video, let's actually build the farmhouse to go with this farm. Um, we'll, we'll deck it out. We'll add in that uh, little tower behind us as part of the build. Um, it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the button. Um, if you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Um, it really help out the channel. Um, it'll help me out a lot. And, you know these videos do take a lot of time a lot of work goes into you know prepping just like the farming for the wall especially like it took a lot of time like i want to do this series as much with you guys as possible but big like tedious projects like building in two straight lines of wall like you guys didn't need to see that um but yeah just the, the the farming in general it just takes a lot of time and then you know actually taking the time to record the video takes a lot of time so please please hit the like button please subscribe if you're not subscribed it's really going to help out the channel um anyway guys wherever you are i hope you're having a great day please take care guys and peace